welcome to a new video but before we get into the video i would like to take a moment to thank my channel members whose names are appearing on screen now from next month i will have a new intro i will film some new footage of the dogs and the cats in their new environment just bear with me i just need to get some footage together however if you wish to become a channel member and support the channel you can do so by clicking the link in the description the first tier will get your name on screen at the beginning of reaction videos the second tier will get your name on screen plus you will have access to bi-weekly members only live streams and the third tier will get you both of those things as well as a members only video on the weeks where there is no a live stream these videos are usually life updates or get ready with me today videos sometimes they're cooking videos it's it's a bit of everything really you don't have to become a member you can also support the channel by sending a super thanks or by simply liking commenting and subscribing now that that is out of the way let's get into the video hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel my name is Ilona I'm also known as Shakar Transformations I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder as you can tell I'm still recovering from my cold if you're wondering what happened then check out the last vlog that I uploaded yesterday this will go up on Saturday it is a uh, Saturday morning indeed yes I was woken up by my cat very early so alas here we are filming a video but basically I went hiking with Daisy and I got caught a cold and I was very sick for the majority of this week hence a lot of pre-recorded content and um, vlogs a couple of days in a row and stuff like that I am not coming to you in a health and fitness capacity today we are going to react to royalty not just any royalty we're going to react to some Canadian royalty I know this video has been out for a couple of days, but I just want to fucking take a look at it again because it's so cringy. So this is not a diet lifestyle type advice video. This is just me watching Lunacy, watching Chantal and wondering what the heck is going on. So without further ado, let me, let's get into it. Let me know if, you, if the sound of this new mic is good, by the way. Yeah, I fucking hope so because it uh, wasn't exactly cheap, but... I think it should be fine, right? The audio should be a lot better. Uh, I feel, I've done a Felix Rising live stream with it, and I've done a members live stream with it. And the, old day, or, uh, the feedback was that it was good. I've obviously tested it, but I don't know what it's going to be like for reaction. I have seen this video already by a couple of people that have reacted to it. So this is... Um, absolutely... I'm, not, I, I'm absolutely not going into this with a fresh pair of eyes. I just want to see it again basically because it's just wow wow the hijab saga is continuing by the looks of things in fact we're now since the video i did the last time that she put on the hijab we're now engaged i believe so chantal verse if you don't stay up to date it moves fast hello foodie beauties <laughs> Hi, marhaba, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. Yes, I have decided to do a video to talk a bit about, I guess, just what's on my mind. And I didn't really feel like going live. As you know, I'm... People are saying about the sores on her mouth. I reckon they're just cold sores, to be honest. It's that time of year. Like, I, I've, got, I've got a little bit of one over here. I've got some coming here because of the fact that I've been sick. I've ha I actually had a fever on Tuesday. I haven't had been sick with a fever like that for a long time. But whenever I'm run down, I get cold sores too. You've got to imagine she's probably going through a lot of stress right now with this alleged move and then this alleged wedding and then all these men that are trying to steal uh, and then all these women that are trying to steal her man. So I don't think it's anything drug related. I could be wrong. Like, I know she did coke, but um, no, I think it's just cold sores just being run down. I'm kind of in weird moods and sometimes I just feel like doing videos. So... I'm just wanting to, I guess, talk weird moods, and sometimes I just feel like doing videos. So, I'm just. I drink a whole jug every day. I mean, that's nothing really to be proud of. That's kind of normal water consumption behavior. I drink four to five of these a day. So, you need to actually drink more than that. I'm gonna say that's like a liter to a liter and a half at most. It's better than nothing, but like. Patting yourself on the back for drinking like a liter of water a day is not, you know, you kind of should do that just to, to make sure that you don't pee syrup and have normal kidney function, basically. 
just wanting to, I guess, talk about some, I don't know if it's like prejudices or what you would call it, but definitely misconceptions. And this is going to sound super snotty, but I want every woman out there to know that if you are so desperate that you have to enter the DMs of somebody that I'm involved with or try to, I need you to know that any reply you get from anyone calling themselves Sala, like they even have the nerve to pretend. So all the Salas in the world, they're all fakes. Now I've seen the DMs uh, of the few people that done it on Reddit and Kiwi Farms. It's like, it's not so hard when you're on Tinder to match somebody. From what I can see, he messages the women first. So I know that she's saying that he's not on Tinder. Um, uh, may maybe he isn't. Maybe it is a fake profile. It is a verified profile. And how you do the verification, because I've used Tinder in the past. Uh, how you do it is they literally tell you to do, for example, they'll tell you to take two pictures and there's like, for example, a girl sitting like this. And then you have to do, and they'll, there's another one where it's like this, for example, and then you have to take a selfie like this. So they have to verify that you're, I don't know if they necessarily verify if it's you, because like, how can they? Unless they run it against the pictures that you have uploaded. I think they're just more verifying to see that you're like a real person and not a bot. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Unless you look really vastly different from your pictures. But um, yeah, that's basically how the verification process goes. Tend to be that worthy. To even enter his DMs. Any reply you get is fake because this man spent hours on video call with me every day. Yeah, but does he do it all day, every day? The thing is, is that you'll be surprised with if this guy is a scammer. Like, so apparently he's not asking her for money. The theory that's running is that potentially it's like a citizenship. And maybe it's true love, who knows, right? Regardless, people still have the time to... There is going to be times in the day where they are not talking, where they are not doing things, and you don't know what he's doing during that time. Now, obviously, you need to have trust uh, if you start seeing somebody that, like, if they're not answering their phone or they're not with their phone, um, that they're, if you're in a relationship, well, if you're not in a relationship, they can do whatever they want, but you need to have to trust that if you're in a relationship that they are doing work or busy or they're just doing whatever. I just find it curious that she is so secure in her relationship with this man. They talk so much every day. Why do you feel the need to come on here and basically be like, don't touch my man? It's kind of, it's kind of strange. If you know, if you know it's all fake, then like, what do you care? Like, let, the, let these women talk to this fake man. What does it matter? Shows me screenshots of every single person trying to follow him, has all comments turned off, is not accepting new friend requests anywhere. Which is kind of like toxic in itself. I'm sorry, but I'm not saying that she is telling him to show him all these things. But if you've in a, if you're in a relationship with somebody that like is so fresh and from the get go, sorry my cat's being naughty, from the cat go, cat, from the cat go, from the cat go. You are having to show your DMs, who's friend requesting you, who's like, who's following you, this and that. It's not a very good basis for a relationship. Like, there is no trust already if this is like how you start off. Like, I wouldn't want to be in a relationship like that. Like, I wouldn't want somebody to be showing me all of that. And I was so sure as shit wouldn't be showing all of that to somebody. It's like, if you want to be with me, you have to, like, trust me that I'm going to do the right thing by you. And if you don't trust me, then, well, what's the fucking point of the relationship, right? And his dating app that you're so hanging on to as proof that this man doesn't love me? <laughs> Please, you're so gullible. How can he love you? This is just so stupid and juvenile. Like, I seriously hope that this is just a troll. Like, I really do hope this is a troll. A very elaborate one. That she's playing and like i don't because like it's really disrespectful if that's the case but at the same time i do hope she's trolling because like how can you say you love somebody that you've never even met before you've never met in person you've never had 
you've never touched, you've never kissed. I don't know about you guys, but I've had I've had it before where I dated somebody for a few weeks before we before we did the noughties. And the noughties happened and they were bad. Trust me, their relationship ended. How can you love somebody you've never met? You've never touched, you've never smelled, you've never been in their presence. Liking somebody and spending, like, especially in the beginning, it's all well and good, but love, love is such a strong word. For me, like falling in love or and like loving, loving and falling in love are two different things as well. Like you can love a lot of people and care for them, but still time goes over that. You can't love somebody you've never met. Like, it's imp- like, I just don't believe it. And you definitely can't be in love with somebody. Like, how can you be in love with somebody you've never touched? For all you know, they, they like, like I, I, joke, I joke around this when I talk to people sometimes. Like, when I start chatting with somebody. And, like, sometimes in the beginning it's all really good and exciting. Sometimes people get a bit too excited about meeting up and stuff. I'm like, look, just, just keep it calm. Because you never know. Like, for all you know, we meet in person and, like, you hold your knife and fork wrong. And, like, I say that as a joke. But I'm not really. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, if I go to a nice restaurant and, like, my date is like a... It's like he's somewhat special. Like, I don't know, like, have you ever seen Pete hold his knife and fork? You know how Pete holds his knife and fork? Yeah, like that. Trust me, there will not be a second date if a man holds his knife and fork like that. I'm sorry. If you don't know how to, like, have basic table etiquette, I'm, like, it's just, like, it's just a no-no for me. So it's a joke, but at the same time, like how you don't know people's mannerisms, you don't know the things until you meet them in person. There's, there could be lots of little things that they do in real life that are super annoying, but you don't know that when you're on a video call for like 20 minutes here, or when you're having texting and stuff like that. There's so much to like the word love. Like, I don't get it. I, I actually, you know, the person I was seeing, I actually decided to end it because of the fact that I wasn't falling in love and like it's all well and good to be with somebody that's a good person and a nice person and they're great but I want that feeling of being in love and like I know how hard it is because I've not been in love very much in my life at all but I know the feeling so I just find it really perplexing that she's saying like I love this man that she's literally been talking to for two weeks and she's never even met her, like let alone touched or been like been intimate with i don't know about you but i can't get feelings for somebody that i'm not intimate with but and i know everybody's different i'm a very normally speaking i'm a very driven person for me intimacy is very important um in a relationship and i, I, don't, it's, I know it's not for everybody but if there's no connection there it's not gonna happen so this is just like i just find it fucking perplexing that she's just sitting out here declaring her love for a man she's literally never seen in real life she's never touched she's never kissed she's never hugged she's never been intimate with it's very bizarre very strange well just like you all accuse me of being i'm sorry or should i say i apologize if i sound bitter yeah i'm a little bitter i'm trying to do better for my life and i have people everywhere trying to pull me back down into the stinky bog with them. Oh, I didn't mean to stop on this thing with, um, with a French girl here. These edits of hers, like, I don't think they're particularly funny. Like, they could be funny. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with her taking the piss out of reaction channels at the end of the day. Like, if I sit here making videos about her, about other people, I should respect it in return. If people want to take the piss out of me, then knock yourself out. It's fine. But I do agree with her to some degree that if, if this is all genuine, if it's all genuine, and she is trying to do better, then like it, it must be hard. But then she has, she has the past that she has because of who she is, right? Like she has said and done things that she shouldn't have done. But I also think that there is an element of like, if she is genuinely trying to do better, I don't think some people. I'm not. This is not to anybody in particular. I think some people will never f- forgive her and let her move forward and actually let her try and become a better person. She has had a lot of flack. A lot of it has been justified. She's said some very outrageous things. Even in recent times, she, she, does, she does do things that are very ignorant and stupid. But at the same time, if she's genuinely trying to do better for herself, it will be very hard. 
because there will always be people out there to remind her of her past and it's kind of like you know if you've committed a crime like I'm not talking about like I don't know like eating people or like doing kid things to kids but if you've committed a crime of like stealing a car and you've done your you've done your time for that you shouldn't always have to be reminded of the things you've done so if if she actually is this is genuine and if moving forward she generally does become a better person and she does make the right choices and doesn't do offensive things i think at some point people do need to also accept that she is trying to change and um be understanding of that despite her past if that makes sense i'm not saying like don't pretend it didn't happen but at the same time if she can demonstrate over a prolonged period of time that she is changing and has changed then you know that's good right at the end of the day isn't that like what what would want would want her to change and become a better person you can stay there i'm moving on up i'm getting married i'm going to live an amazing life this move is happening i'm glowing up in life behind the scenes and from now on i'm only allowing you imagine marrying somebody you've never even met this is like where i do believe this is like a citizenship arc or scam or deal or whatever it is because it's like how can you how can any sane person commit to marrying somebody they've literally never met and only known for two weeks like unless you're drunk in las vegas and you're like in your early 20s like who does that and i know somebody's out there that has done it and i'm sure that you've been in a successful marriage for like the last 20 years good for you you're an anomaly like this normally doesn't happen i know that whenever you say anything like this there's always somebody yeah but i've done this and that's great but in general this is this is crazy this is crazy that you're saying you're going to marry somebody you've never met it's it's just like i this makes me like i just can't take it serious because of that like they're, they're like i don't know like it just cannot she cannot be serious saying this i think she is though but i think she is but i just feel like there is definitely an ulterior motive of sorts whatever privacy i want to give you and honestly the way things are going to be going with my channel probably not much my privacy is something i have not valued yeah she said that a bit weird um, other people pointed out that she's like whatever privacy i want to give you she probably misspoke there which happens you know i misspeak all the time valued my entire life do i regret that i see people desperate reaction channels and desperate women trying to break this up but it's not going to happen why would sala and listen carefully this is this is the best part of the whole video <laughs> ladies why would sala go for you girls when he has a canadian queen like me Can you imagine being like literally like 38 or 39 years old and referring to yourself as a fucking queen? It's just so cringy, man. Like, look, I, I'm fairly neutral on Chantelle. Like, I don't like a lot of things she's done. I understand some of the behaviors as well because she does get a lot of shit. I think some people are really unnecessary with her. That's not aiming at somebody in particular. She has a lot of hate. It must be very difficult, especially when... Violet, some people get like you know like imagine this woman has literally something like 50 re reaction channels making videos about her every single day and the second she says something back to a certain people they like can't hack it it's like look like it must be difficult and nobody likes to be criticized i don't like to be criticized no nobody likes it right so on the scale that she's getting it like i can imagine it's hard and i'm not saying she's like a good person i'm not defending her or anything like that it's just that i can understand some of her behaviors because of the amount of negative attention she gets like it doesn't justify a lot of things but besides that point <laughs> who's gonna sit there and call themselves a fucking queen like it's cringy at the best of times referring to yourself as a queen like who does that but in this situation in particular with the little emoji my god this is really embarrassing and really childish 
I like I feel embarrassed for her watching this. This is just what like I really just wanted to watch this again just for this. Just the seriousness of just referring to herself, Violet. Of referring to herself as a Canadian queen. Wow. Me. <laughs> you make no sense. Anyway, I'm just terribly bored with all the speculation of This is just an act though, right? Like she's not serious, right? I can't believe it's serious. I'm <laughs> seeing, and I have to tell you, none of it's true. I want to just say, if I'm being scammed, why has he not made any videos to try to leech off my YouTube channel? Why has why has he not been pushing me to do content? Why has he promised to take care of me as my husband? This is what a real man does. I have. Well, the the the, the theory is allegedly that there's a potentially citizenship in there. So, you know, all he needs to do is be married to you for a certain period of time. He doesn't necessarily need your money for that. But I don't know how that works. Like, I don't live in Canada and I've never looked into, like, gaining citizenship anywhere else. I have found myself a real man. Yes, halfway across the world. It's a vast world. Why am I going to be closed-minded and limit myself to someone here? I mean, like, I, was, I, I understand that. Like, I... I mean, not necessarily dating someone that's literally on the other end of the world um, but at the same time like sometimes you do just end up meeting people that live further away like the, like I was saying the car that I was recently seeing he lived in uh, like a six hour car drive away in a different country and um, it wasn't the distance that was the issue so so yeah like I mean like it, like this is something that does happen people do meet people in different countries uh, I mean like in her situation there's it's kind of feels like she is purposely going for men that are foreigners in um, situations where they can potentially benefit from being with a Western woman and uh, benefit from the finances she has, etc., etc. So it's, it's slightly different, but I know that in this day and age to date somebody that's not in your city or even in your country it's not that strange i think like that is no it's not that strange people do travel it does complicate a relationship but it's possible for sure as long as you have good communication salah is my soulmate he happens to be in another country so we're gonna make it happen i can and i will what other scams he's using me for citizenship Number one, we don't have green cards here. Sponsoring a spouse, yes, it's a big process. It's not just quick and easy like that. Also, who says he's even coming here right now? This is the thing. I even saw a rumor that he has no family. How are people making these claims when they don't even know us? They don't know anything. And guess what? You're not going to. I have every right to my privacy. I'm she does have every right to her privacy. The thing is, though, is that like she's kind of made it her bread and butter to literally live stream 24-7, seven days a week for like, what, two years, a year and a half she did it, something like that. So if she wants to change that, of course, knock yourself out. But um, it'll be curious to see how that's going to impact her bottom line at the end of the day. Uh, you know, like how is she going to uh, pay for the luxury villa? There's lots of villas to mention in it. How's she going to pay for the mansion? As well as support Pete's and other things and her very expensive like takeout habits as well as other things, you know. So, yeah, so well and good. And like if she wants to change her content, knock yourself out. But, um, you know, you're, you're putting out there what you're putting out there because you put it out there. It's nobody else has put it out there. You, you, you push the buttons, you do the recordings, you do the edits. It's nobody's forced you to do that. I'm taking back my privacy. You can put every video, every thumbnail, every picture of me you want of my past. And that hasn't scared him away. He knows who I am. He knows I'm foodie beauty. I mean, that in itself is weird, though. And um, that's not to, like, shame her or anything. But let, let's be real. A lot of the behaviors that she has shown online is extremely abnormal. Um, like just the admittance of lack of personal hygiene, her gross eating habits, her gross bodily functions. 
stuff like that it's like she may think it's normal just even like the state of her home like how filthy she is in terms of like like i don't know there's there there is hypotheses around her personal hygiene i mean even this makeup looks like it's old but we can see the physical filth of the apartment she's living in all of that is extremely abnormal and it makes you wonder like why would a man that is in kind of in the prime of his life allegedly has a successful business is making good money is educated has a house has a property wants a family now why would he want to be with a super morbidly obese woman that has no uterus that is close to her 40s um not to age shame Chantal, but you're getting old i mean i'm getting old too i'll be 36 very soon the reality is is that like you know she doesn't cook she doesn't clean like what is she bringing to the table that uh a man looking to settle down wants. Like, it's very strange. It really doesn't make any sense. And he's a decent looking man at that. And like, I actually don't think that Chantal's particularly unattractive when she does her makeup and stuff. I know she's heavily filtered here, but just, you know, her, like, I'm gonna be honest, her body is, is very, is, re is really unattractive. She is enormous. She has, there's, she doesn't carry her fat in a flattering way it's not a feminine like some women are obese and they carry it in a nice feminine way they're hourglass shaped she literally is just a ball with two legs and that's not to be horrible that's just the reality of it so what what like this is strange like why if you have if you have such a paper trail of just really abhorrent, gross behavior. And I don't necessarily even mean her opinions, which like they are, the things she's said and done is one thing, but just how she is like farting and belching and like, like scratching her ass and sniffing it and drip drying, that stuff is disgusting. I'm sorry, it's fucking gross. How? How a, a normal, well to get well put together, intelligent, fairly handsome, successful man, why would they want to be with a woman like that? Unless they have some fucking weird fetish. It makes no sense. It literally makes no sense. I'm sorry. Like, if you're, like, the reality is, I know that you should number people on scales, but if you're a fucking two, somebody that's an eight is not going to date you. If you're a two, you're going to have to date twos as well. You, if you're lucky, maybe you'll get a four if you're like an amazing person and you're very nice and I, I don't know, you're like really good in bed or something like that. You bring something to the table that's away from your, your, your low ranking that can kind of give you bonus points. But the reality is kind six kinds or water six its own level, right, is what they say. So it's like that in itself is weird. Like why, why would he? It's like, I'm, yeah. It just, it just it just makes no sense to me that she can't see that this is strange, that a guy is completely accepting of who she is, her past, uh, her past behaviors, her bodily habits, her bodily functions, everything that comes with it. And still he's like, yeah, I, I love you after two weeks. It's weird. It's strange. I'm sorry. And he loves me for me. As a person, I have a lot to offer. Just because I pick my nose in old videos means I'm not worthy of love. Okay. Or because maybe because I went through a hard time and I was in an abusive relationship and resorted to drugs to cope with things. So that's going to be rubbed in my face over and over. Nice try, but no. I don't, I, I don't think it's necessarily just that, like the, the abusive relationship thing. Like, I don't even want to get into the whole fucking nature thing because pff, I'll be here for like another half an hour because I'll be talking about it forever. Like, she, yeah, she's a victim to a degree. I also think that, you know, she's a perpetrator to a degree. She has zero remorse for a lot of women that have been going through the same thing. She says some pretty abhorrent things about Didi. But besides that point, it's not about just picking your nose on camera. It's like literally everything else that I've said. Like, yeah, like just the fact that you don't even fucking brush your teeth. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I literally find that a turn off. If a guy, if I'm dating somebody and they don't brush their teeth in the morning and in the evenings, I'm sorry, I find that a turn off. If you can't even be bothered to maintain your fucking oral health properly, look, we've all been very tired sometimes and gone to bed without brushing our teeth. It happens. Sometimes, you know? Like, yeah, sometimes I've been very tired and I've been pissed up or whatever and I've gone to bed with my makeup on. It happens. But this is normal for her. 
this is just laziness it's just poor personal hygiene things like that to me or guys fingers crossed my SD card my spare one that I have was full I've had to stick my old one in there and it's being very temperamental but right now I can't get a new one because <laughs> I'm too fucking poor and it's the end of the month so I need to wait until I get paid to get a new SD card fingers crossed this one doesn't corrupt and we can continue filming pray for me but you will notice because I'll fix it all and edit but no that I've had to stop this recording a few times let's continue with Chantal Chantal let's continue with Chantal I don't live in the past you guys do I'm moving forward and so are my beezers my loyal beezers and that's all that matters and the rest well whatever also I would like everyone to reach out to people who are having their names mispronounced over and over I mean like look if people are mispronouncing your name on purpose it's one thing calling the guy salad I don't think it's necessarily racist I mean like salad is just funny salad salad it's kind of like a play on words people mispronounce my name all the time like I am so used like I'm gonna say out of 90% of people that I meet when they read my name they don't know how to pronounce it is that racism no it's not it's just that people some people just have difficult names like some especially if it's not to your if it's not similar to your native tongue or to your yeah like some like some languages are very difficult like some names are very difficult to try and understand or even pronounce so like it's not racist if you can't pronounce a name because it's just in a language that you're not familiar with now, and i know she's referring to to salad here to salad a salad but like come on now it's not racist calling salad Calling somebody salad is not racist. Go ask them if that matters. Go ask them if that matters. I will let you know there's one um, reaction channel particularly who keeps being racist um, just because that's the only way they feel they can get to me out of desperation. But every harassment is being documented and noted and I'm actually in contact with a representative from YouTube about a lot of things. This might take a while, maybe, I don't know how long. I mean, I guess while they look into it, but um, like, I don't think that calling somebody salad is going to do anything. Like, I don't think that can be deemed as racist. It's annoying, maybe, at best, but racist, nah. I'm not, I'm, I'm tired of not fighting for my rights in any way. The rights to my privacy, I need to take responsibility for myself. But where... Yes, you do. It's about bloody time you did as well, being almost 40, but, you know, we'll see if that happens. There's the community's responsibility and everything. There is no responsibility for the community, like, this is your life, your responsibility, your platform, you put out there what you choose to put out, put out there. Simple as that. So it's okay to just be racist and just say racist things now and just, but... Like, I'm not, I know that she says some ignorant things, I don't think that Chantal is racist. I think she's just kind of low IQ, like, to be frank. Uh, I think she says some very dumb things in the heat of the moment. Uh, I think she says things she doesn't realize can come across as racist. Also in the day and age that we live in, and anything can be misconstrued and interpreted as racism if somebody deems it to be like that. Do I think she genuinely has like, um, in the traditional sense, a hatred towards people of color? Does she think she's superior? No, I don't think so. I think she's like, I think she's just ignorant and stupid. And not really willing to learn from her mistakes in my opinion i could be wrong obviously like i'm not an expert on racism it's not something that i've really experienced having said that i do experience prejudice i do experience some prejudice here sometimes even though i'm a westerner in a west in a western year in a in a european country but i think that's obviously not comparable to like actual racism uh, the so the onus is still on me for that, right? Because of something, um, uh, a comment I made a long, 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 long time ago that wasn't even racist. Mm, yeah, okay. You're all crappy. And every time you do something racist like that, I will report you. All right, so just a brief history on this racism accusation, which is so contrived and so far-fetched. It's insane. But anyway, this person, Charlie Gold, was a reaction channel up my butt and around the corner since I started YouTube, basically fat shaming me for years, using my content for years. And one day I snapped. And since she liked to make fun of my name and everything else, 
you know, I decided to call her instead of Charlie Gold because she definitely isn't worth the value of gold and doesn't is not shiny like gold is what I was referring to, not her skin color. The color of her soul was coal. So my thoughts on this is that like, I understand where Chantal is coming from in terms of like coal and gold, like coal and gold. It's like a dumb thing to say, um, but I don't think she meant it to be racist. I think she meant it in the way that she was saying, but you know, it, the way people are interpreting, the way it has been interpreted is the way it has been interpreted. And she either should have just been like, said this from the beginning and moved on, or she should have never, uh, or she should have apologized, which she did. But then if you apologize, you need to stick with that, if that makes sense. So either like try and explain what you were trying to say or not. But I can see when people are like the whole cold, like I've seen some people going like the whole uh, gold and coal thing. It's not the same. Uh, well, if it was like to be a mineral, then she should have gone for like the the lowest value mineral that's out there, which is blah, blah. It's like, like cold gold. It, coal gold it kind of rhymes i can i can see what she did there like like is it dumb yes can i understand how people can see it as derogatory as racist yes do i think chantelle intended it like that no do i think some people are running with this and really blowing this out of proportion 100 percent um, when people are saying like, oh, I don't see how she could have said that. It's like, well, it kind of makes sense. Gold is shiny, coal, coal is not. One is worth a lot of things. Another one is worth nothing. I mean, like technically coal becomes diamond if you compress it enough over time. So, you know, there is that. But besides that point, when people are like, well, she should have looked at the elemental chart and like, gone for the least valuable uh, element that's out there. It's like, come on now. Like she, she just said something off the cuff. And it was dumb and ignorant, in my opinion. So, but like, what do I know at the end of the day? Like, I suppose, like, I can't say anything. I'm not Charlie. I'm not a person with color. So like, I'm not really here to say whether it is or it isn't. I just think in my opinion, I think it is, I think some people are blowing it out of proportion. I understand how some people take offense to it. But I, I think in my opinion that Chantal meant it just coal is worth a lot coal is worth nothing and literally just that's it yeah basically this is uh just very dumb of her to again bring this up her personality is coal she is valueless like coal her opinions are like coal not gold it was a play on the term gold the opposite of gold in mineral terms i guess in my brain call me stupid fine but i'm not racist was coal the opposite of gold in my mind was coal now if charlie's name was charlie christmas and i called her charlie cole then yes i would agree that that is very racist however no that's not racist thank you have a nice day bye um that person is obviously just bitter and jealous that they can't be me and have my life and have the men in my life um it's a problem and it's actually scary but all the men that she's paying for <laughs> and that she's fucking catfishing <laughs> on tinder man like no like nothing counts until you actually have them and for real have them and you meet them for real like i've met i've matched some f in the past i've matched some fucking good looking guys on tinder like legit fitness models you know what i mean like guys that are tense like it doesn't mean nothing like it doesn't mean nothing especially in this day and age dating online dating like unless you meet like the fact if you're even talking two days later that's like wow but unless you meet, it means nothing. And if you're a woman, I know that plenty of guys just play the numbers game. They just, you know, some guys take the special Tinder where you can see who's liked you and they will only like back the girls that have liked them. Some guys, like uh, actually one of my exes, like that I was together with for quite a long time. He, I don't like, I wasn't even meant to match him because he lived in a different area, but I was in that area to pick up a car at that time. To buy a car and he literally told me because <laughs> he told me that what he does he just swipes yes to everyone like everyone and then whoever he matches if there's a good looking one in there he'll message them <laughs> and he, he messaged me and then we end up seeing each other 
But like the thing is, is that like a lot of guys just play Tinder like that. It's nothing special. Like getting a guy to match you on Tinder is like it's not that special, to be honest. I'm not meant like most guys just play the numbers game. Some guys are honest. Some guys are not. Some guys are on there for sex. Some guys are on there for love. Like you don't know. But to just sit here and brag that you you're matching fucking guys on worldwide Tinder, like it's it's not a flex love. It really isn't and it is harassment and I'm dealing with it behind the scenes. Also, I just want to say desperately that you will not find a Tinder account for Salah anywhere. So have fun with that. That is clearly fake. People are trying so hard to do anything to make me miserable and split us up. Again, it's not going to work. Only God will keep me from this man and my future. I also don't. She's found God as well now. That's a new one. I didn't think she was religious. There you go. A lot can change in a couple of weeks, eh? I don't know where people are surprised about my bitchy community posts. My community post being ageist was directly in response, as I said in my video, to this old woman constantly fat shaming me. So, sorry, unbelievable. So yes, um, yeah, I don't. I literally don't really follow a lot of the addition to our reaction channels. I mostly just watch the YouTube Underground, to be honest. I think she's kind of funny. Um, because, well, she is, basically. I, I don't think she's kind of funny. I, I think she is funny, so. <laughs> I guess for those who are just like, oh, let's see her rage. <laughs> uh, here you go, I guess. I don't know what makes your day, floats your boat, makes you alive in life, but apparently seeing me rage does it. And really, that's really sad that that actually speaks more about you than it ever will about me, honey. Stay mad. Now, I've addressed my haters ad nauseum, so I want to address my followers and my beezers, and I just want to say, I miss you guys so much. And again, I thank you. I'm in a transition period in my life. I will um, be back as soon as I can, but there will be a lot of changes, like a lot, but it's going to be a good thing. So be patient and be proud to be a Weezer. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. All right, we made it. <laughs> I had a lot more to say than I thought I did. On that note, I'm going to go, guys, because I need to walk my dog and I need to try to get a gym, gym session in. I'm actually filming a full day of eating today and I'm going to be training lower body. A lot of glutes, obviously, and a bit of hamstring and quads. So that this will go up next week at some point, the full day of eating. So enjoy your weekend. I just wanted to react to this just because just it's just wow. Wow. And it's something different, you know? It's nothing like, I would say it's not so serious. I mean, like, the topic is potentially quite serious, but I don't know. I just didn't fancy doing like April Lauren. Or like TikToks, basically. I'm fancy looking at this again because it's not often I get the opportunity to react to, to react to royalty. <laughs> On that note, insert royalty related emojis. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Let me know down below why. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.